Hey to me, it's your girl B. Um, I am back. I kind of switched stuff up because of the the weekly thing. I'm always on YouTube, but the weekly thing was kind of like it was too much because you weren't really getting too much information. And for me, when I look back on these videos, it was kind of like the same thing, and I'm pretty sure that I would click through those type of videos. So um, I'll be doing updates as needed. I will be making sure that I do an update each month that I change. And at this point, today is month six. So um, I am officially six months pregnant today. And um, I mean, it's been good. It's been really good. If you guys don't really... Some people really... Really? Okay. Sorry. Um, I guess I really don't know my new neighborhood. And that goes into saying that I moved. So my background is a little different. Um than you guys remember so that is what has consumed me and and just to go off on that and what it has to do with pregnancy it is very very hard to move while pregnant I would not recommend it if you you know if you can wait but I guess I wanted to do the move before the baby came because I, I, I most definitely I had to have what I needed, and Belinda always gets what Belinda wants, and <laughs> I needed to have a nursery, so I needed to make that move so that I could now have a three-bedroom instead of two, um, like I originally had with myself and Kai, so um, haven't started working on the nursery yet, but I have the color scheme, I have the design that I want, and I know the furniture that I want to get, so I got all the, you know, definite things of where I got to go to get it, what I got to do to get it, when can I get it. I got all that firmed up. It's just about going ahead and doing it now. So um, I think next week I'll probably start by painting it and I'll take you guys on that journey on painting the room. Um, you know, I'll show you the room how it is before and then I'll show you afterwards. I am definitely working now. This is definitely something that if you're watching this video and you're good at videos and you know how to fast forward videos and all that, I'm not really that tech savvy like that. I haven't really had the chance and opportunity to sit down and really do that. I spent probably about an hour and learned so much in that hour, but I just don't have the time to really do that. So if I can actually have somebody that is watching the videos can tell me this is how you can the videos, then I'm good. So um otherwise symptoms um my appetite has really 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 picked up. I mean I have got to always have something going into my mouth like I mean whether or not it's pie whether or not it's food salad apple orange something has to be coming in if I'm awake it has to be coming in um I didn't think I really didn't think that I was seeing too much of a um a weight gain but the last time that I went to my doctor she was telling me she said uh well, you're actually 20 more pounds than what you were at this point with Kai. Yikes. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm done asking questions now, doctor. And so, um, we went over talking about like a birthing plan. She was like, who does those anymore? I was like, me? You know, because I, I kind of want to have an idea, especially with me going at this and attempting. I will say that, attempting. To have a natural birth. I, I really want to plan. I want to know, you know, what things could be offered to me that I need to say no to instead of being in the heat of pain and saying, they're like, you want some Demeron? And I'm like, yeah. No, I want to go all natural. Um, I want to. Now, let's, I don't know if that's really going to happen, but I would like to go in with that state of mind instead of going in and just like, give me the drugs. You know, I, I definitely want to be able to labor and, and help Morgan as much as I can, um, you know, with my body and, and, and us just speaking together as one. I, I don't know. It just really went on that kind of, you know, we need to speak to each other. Very um, mother nature type of type of thing that I went into, so... We'll see. We'll see. Uh, other symptoms, fatigue, um, and um, not really dehydration. I just have to drink some water. Like, um, even though I know you're supposed to, but I, I definitely have a craving for water. So it's like I have to have a, you know, a bottle of water either by my bed, at my desk, in the car. It just always has to be there because I, I need to, you know, 
constantly stay hydrated, especially after what happened to me early on in the pregnancy and I was dehydrated, out of work for a week, all that mess. Ooh, okay. But then to go into work, I like the way this is flowing. Y'all like the way this is flowing? I do too. Okay. So to go into work, um, I found out a couple of days ago that my job does not have maternity leave. I could have sworn we did, but to my not, to what I've been told by our HR, we do not have maternity leave. Um, we have FMLA, which majority of states that have over 50 employees um, in your business or company, you have FMLA. It goes from 6 to 12 weeks as far as securing and, and protecting your job, basically. So my employer has 6 weeks that, um, that basically your job is protected. We do have short-term disability, and short-term disability, just as um, what I found out from when I was dehydrated and out of work for a week, it only kicks in after 20 days. So let's just put it like this. If I'm off work for six weeks, by that fourth week, that's when FM, that's when um, short-term disability is going to kick in. So I'll get two weeks of short-term disability. Sister girl, got to find a better way. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm in the works of doing research as far as whether or not I can get unemployment um, because they say that you cannot get unemployment if you are on maternity leave. We don't have maternity leave. Can I get unemployment? Those are the questions that I'm going to be asking come this Monday morning. And, um, and just trying to find out other things that, uh, as far as supplemental income because I don't feel the need to be rushed. Um, I am getting ready to birth a child. Even though that people do this every single day, multiple times a day, um, I don't care what they, you know, they being my upper management individuals, um, you know, sister, mama's wife, girlfriend, brother, whoever dealt with before, I take it very seriously and I want to be able to bond with my child. I do not want to have to be forced just due to the fact that I, you know, I need my income to put my child in daycare at six weeks. No. Mm -mm. I would rather wait. Um, I do have some alternative methods of, you know, maybe my mom could watch her and, and stuff like that. But what I, I want to bond with my own child. You know, I want to have that bond with her. Each and every day, when she wakes up, when she goes to sleep, changing diapers, giving her baths, and all of that. So, we'll see how that goes. Definitely, if you have any um, insight, if you have any, you know, feedback you want to give me in regards to some type of supplemental income, um, you know, applying for benefits or things like that that you can do, leave them down there. Help us sister out. Um, and then talking about helping the sister out, I really do have to add this in this video because it has been a really, really, really big epidemic. And um, one of my subscriptions, Miss um, High Maintenance, was talking about it. And, um, you know, she, she really inspired me as far as making a video about it. And that's going to be about the young lady, Amber Cole. Um, I'm having a girl. And that really, 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 I guess, makes me even more in tune with her. Um, and, and with my son as well. Because I, nor do I want my son to be that little boy on the side of the school, you know, getting his little jollies off by some chick. You know, no, that's not, that's not how we get down. You know, so... I, I wanted to address that shortly, and if you guys don't know about it, you know, I guess all you got to do really is do a little Google or Yahoo search on it, but um, and you can get the details. I really don't want to go too much in detail in my vlog, but uh, I wanted to address that in this video because um, some strong points were hit in high maintenance video, and I'll actually add a link to her video that you can watch her video too, where she explains it and gives her feedback. But a lot of things were brought to the light that these children are our children. When I go to my son's school, when I go on field trips, all of my kids. And if anybody being out of line, I'm just like their mom. You know, I'm not going to put my hands on nobody else's kids. But at the same time, I'm going to let you know. You Okay. <laughs> all right. So, in other pregnancy news... Um, I went to the Dollar Store. I haven't started reading it just yet, but it, they have a, a Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree, I think it is, by my job. And I found this book. And I will be looking that over. 
Hollywood pregnancy secrets. So it goes from Halle Berry, you know, different tips from Michelle Pfeiffer, Julia Roberts, Tina Fey, you know, just little tips and tidbits, I guess. Um, yeah, so I guess, you know, Life's a Peach Bellini gives you the recipe for those, uh, that drink. So it looks like it's going to be a fun book, so... I'll look over that this, this coming up week, and I'll let you guys know in my next vlog how it was. Uh, otherwise, at my appointment, it looks like I had gained, like, another 10 pounds. And I have another appointment set for two weeks. Um, yeah, just trying to keep my stress level low. Um, I, I'm not married. Okay, so, <laughs> not married, not engaged, uh, don't have a man, so... This whole process and doing this alone is um, definitely something that, that bugs me a little bit. But what I need to continue and, and focus on is the simple fact that I need to be healthy and I need to be stress-free and loving all because I have a new being growing in my body. And we all know, and maybe some of you don't, about the different, you know, tales that people say about you being stressed out or, you know, thinking about the dad and, you know, your child can come out looking just like that man. Or, it, or you know, you're going to have a whiny baby if you're all stressed out and crying and stuff. So, whatever. Um, I'm just trying to be in good spirits just because I know, and that's what I feel, that having a better spirit is definitely going to exude to my child. Plain and simple. So, everything else, you know, I don't really believe in all that other stuff. But, um, it's hard. It is. It is It is really hard, but um, I definitely know that with me being a mother already to Kai and with this move and work and just trying to get everything together for the nursery and Christmas coming up and, and all that, I got too much other stuff to consume me to really worry too much. I, I probably have about an hour or two a day where combined um, where I have a moment where it's like... <laughs> Then I'm like, wait a minute. Somebody almost walked away with my stuff. <laughs> I had a for color girls moment. Sorry. Okay. But anyways, um, I'll show you as my belly. And uh, today is officially six months. So. Oh, and I guess maybe my stomach isn't getting really big because who has is on fire. I mean, like, they, they about as big as my belly is. You put them both together, you know. Ooh, okay. But. And this makes it look so big, y'all. Because, I mean, just when I just stood up, I'm like, you know, I bet you they probably like, what in the hell is she talking about? But it, it, I do look very small. I don't know how far back can I get. Okay. So, I don't know. That's the front. This is the side. And I also got, you know, a donk back there, too. Um, that's protruding. You know, when one of my coworkers had told me, she said, you know, because you got the B, you know, one, two, and I don't know where the other one is, but whatever, because it was a B, it was a boy, but I'm like, no, lady. It's a girl. Sorry, Veronica, you're wrong. <laughs> okay, so, let me turn the side. It's in the front. I'm still using my bio oil. If you don't remember from my other video, one of the... Young ladies that was on my baby center recommended uh, the bio oil. I got it from Target. It was like 20 bucks. They said you can get it from CVS for uh, $11. On the other side. It's supposed to lighten up your stretch marks if you put it on every day. With the move, I kind of wasn't doing it every day. So I just started back, you know, twice a day trying to do it. But it's not greasy. I just put it on not too long ago. It's not greasy. It just looks hydrated. So, that's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments or questions below, and I will address them. You know, no matter how hard you guys may think they might be, just ask them. You know, the, the stupid question is the one not asked. Deuces.